Hi, folks. Steve Adubato. Welcome to One on One. It is my pleasure to introduce one of the other, one of the many great educators in the uh, state and in the region. He is Jamie Valente. He's director of performing arts at Teaneck Community Charter School. Good to see you, Jamie. Thanks for having me, Steve. Uh, you're a music teacher. I am. I Eleven years. Eleven years. You admit that. Yeah. Proud of it. it. <laughs> Proud of it. Why exactly. Music? Um, music just connected with me when I was in school. I was one of those kids, you know, I did well in the core subjects, but I spent the whole day waiting to get to choir and to get to band. So it was a logical progression. I wanted to move that passion onto another generation of students. And uh, this is a part of our series that we do in cooperation with, with our friends at the New Jersey Education Association. Uh, they do a great series called Classroom Close-Up um, uh, with our sister station, if you will, NJTV. And you're about to see a piece from Classroom Close-Up, the great series there. Um, this is called The Musical Brush, is that right? Yes. Let's take a look at this clip, uh, The Musical Brush. It's an initiative that you guys have, right? It's an initiative we started this year, uh, funded through an NJA Frederick L. Hip grant. We applied, and it's a brand new program based on a new concept, and they funded it. We just actually wrapped our final session of it for the year a couple weeks ago. Talks about bringing together the fine and performing arts. It does. Uh, Why don't we, we take a look at the clip, and then we'll talk. Sure. <laughs> it's called The Musical Brush, Classroom Close-Up. Let's check it out. All right, The Musical Brush is a concept Miss Abby and I came up with, figuring a way to relate emotion in art and music. Uh, the concept for the musical brush was to bring students and an adult from their family together into the school to have an educational experience that bridges the gap between art and music. You can clearly hear emotion in music. You can see emotion in art, but how does one translate to the other? They come up with their own answer throughout the night by working together and painting a canvas inspired by a style of music and an artist chosen by Miss Abby and myself. So we're gonna introduce you to a new artist tonight. His name is Corey Barksdale. Once I saw his artwork, I fell in love with it. It's amazing. It's these bright, vivid colors. Looking at his paintings, you feel jazz music. You know that, and he does. He listens to the music while he paints, which is exactly what we're doing tonight because jazz is such a mixture of different types of music. So how do we show that through art? Maybe the blues are influencing part of your canvas and something more rhythmic is in another. How do we make it work together? Try and like now just like splatter paint. You want me to splatter? When I paint, I feel like I can be very creative. I can just paint whatever's on my mind and all my stretches just go away. A lot of people will say when they hear music, they hear colors or they see colors. And I think this is a way to help them actually put it on the canvas. I like that. When I think of jazz, I see darker colors than um, usually other songs because they kind of make it a little deeper sometimes. Our big goal was stop having visual arts and performing arts be separate. How do we finally put the two together and let a student and an adult learn? And that's where the project came from. I want them to maybe see their parents in a different light than they did see them. A different way to communicate with each other through colors, through lines. Something maybe that they can't normally express to their parents. There's no wrong answer when you come to the musical brush sessions. And that's what education should be. We're not teaching you facts and figures. We're teaching you how to think and be an individual. And that is what we're looking for to do with the parents. Bring them in. Help them foster individuality and creativity in their children. I mean, how awesome. Parents, kids together, yeah. working on their art while listening to this great music. Yeah. Where did the idea come from? Ms. Abby and I were talking. We had been through a staff meeting that was you know, centered around how do we bring the parents into the school in a positive light? We spend so much time nowadays talking about Common Core or the park. And you mean standardized tests? Standardized tests. Don't you love that? 
Oh. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> as a music teacher, it's essentially against everything we we work to build. We work to build creativity and you know, you can have your thoughts and I can have my thoughts and they're all valid as long as you can back them up with your knowledge. Standardized testing is the exact opposite of it. It's you know, here's the right answer and there's this way to get to it. Use this way. It may have its place in certain subjects, but in the fine and performing arts, bringing them together, creating, is different. Absolutely. Because when you create something, you can't be wrong. When they're listening to this music and they're saying, you know, this is how it makes me feel, then how can you tell somebody that's wrong? Or it's, it's not good. Exactly. It, it's what they, and they worked on this with yeah. an adult from their family. Mm. So it could be, in some cases, they bring mom, dad, we had aunts and uncles, grandparents, older siblings, whoever you wanted to bring, and it fostered communication in a way that they don't get a lot of times. We had parents say to us, this was the longest discussion I've had with my kids in You're a while. They this were, was a powerful interpersonal experience for them. Absolutely. They Did you were, anticipate that? That was actually a pleasant side effect. We were hoping that it would allow the students to communicate with their parents in a different way, explaining how they're being creative. But when a parent comes up to us and says, I found out an experience my kid had because they said, oh, yeah, this reminds me of a time yeah. when I, you know, and then you, they inserted the example there. Well, let me ask you, as an educator, mm -hmm. when we've spoken to so many terrific teachers, educators, through this series that we're doing on public television and, and our partners at Fios as well, with the NJEA, and, and there's, I'm blown away by the passion, the commitment, the excellence of these educators. For you, what does this do for you? This reminds me of why I decided to teach. It's helping students be who they are, show a creative side and give them an outlet that they might not receive otherwise. We are a public charter school. Make, make that clear to people. People say, oh, it's a charter school. You are a public. We are a public school. No student that attends our school pays any cent of tuition. There's no application or audition process in any way. They and their parents decide if they're a resident of Teaneck mm -hmm. and they'd like to go to the Teaneck Community Charter School. They enter our lottery for kindergarten. And if their number is chosen, they have a spot in the school. And we actually have a very extensive waiting list of students who are hoping to get into the school. What happens for some of these kids moving forward in terms of the potential outlets for them in these arts? Our, with us being in Bergen County and so close to New York City, the opportunities are endless for these students. We have students who have been accepted into arts high schools. Hmm. We've had students now go on to college to pursue uh, dramatic arts and fine arts from our school. And we actually have a great deal of parents in our community who are arts professionals themselves hmm. and come into the school to volunteer to build up the opportunities for our students. Jamie, before I let you out of here, um, I my obsession, yours is music and teaching. Mine is leadership and the art of leadership and teaching about leadership. Greatest lesson you learned about leadership is? Everyone has value. Everyone has something that they contribute to a process. Whether your title is the CEO or you are an intern, everyone has something they can contribute and you have to find that in them. I want to thank you. Um, we thank every educator who comes on this series for the work that they do for teaching our children every day and making a difference in their lives. Um, I, it's the most honorable profession that we know of. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you. Uh, Jamie Valente, Director of Performing Arts, Teaneck Community Charter School. Thanks so much. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Delta Dental of New Jersey, the Russell Berry Foundation, Felician University, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by Virtua. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, 
serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.